Today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice in it and be glad in it as we study His Word. And like always, we're going to be explaining another often confusing question. So I hope you've got a pen, a paper, and your Bible. And let's get started. Did Jesus speak in tongues? Jesus, did he ever speak in tongues? The Bible offers no evidence that Jesus spoke in tongues. And many today see tongues as some sort of an unintelligible, supernatural form of speech. Biblically, the gift of speaking in tongues occurs when someone speaks a language he does not know in order to edify someone who does speak in that language. Look at 1 Corinthians 14, verse 6. The Bible says, Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you, except I shall speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge or by prophesying or by doctrine? So now, if Christ were going to speak in tongues, it would have been logical for him to do so at his baptism when the Spirit descended on him like a dove. Mark 1 verse 10 And straight away coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens open and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. That could be the right moment. Okay? But we know that uh, moments after Jesus' baptism, the Father spoke from heaven in words that we could all understand. That is in verse 11. Of course, we know God spoke and said, this, this is my beloved son, and, and all that story, you know. But we have no record of Jesus speaking in tongues on this or any other occasion. And many advocates of today's tongues movements uh, assume that Jesus must have spoken in tongues. And to bolster their points, they point out to passages uh, like when we look at Mark 7.34 which says And looking up to heaven he sighed and said unto him Emphra Fanta <laughs> And that is Be open So that Emphra Thafa Something like that So they say that's what uh, Jesus did You know Jesus spoke in tongues Did you see that? And also Mark 8 verse 12 the Bible says, And he sighed deeply in his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek after sign? Verily I say unto you, There shall no sign be given unto this generation. Hmm. They say now, Jesus sighed deeply in his spirit. So, however, sigh is not the same thing as supernatural gift of tongues. Anyone can sigh for a number of reasons. But it is no proof of the Spirit's power. We have a record of Jesus speaking in Aramaic, which is the commonest language spoken in Israel at the time. Think about Mark 5 verse 41. The Bible says, And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talitha kumi, which is being interpreted, Damsel, I say unto thee, Arise. Hmm, that was the Aramaic language. He was not babbling. And also see, in Acts 26 verse 14, the Bible says, And when you were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me, saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. This is when uh, Paul is trying to explain what happened during his conversion. And he's saying what uh, he heard. Jesus spoke to him in the Hebrew tongue. So, most likely, Jesus was also conversant in Hebrew and Greek, since both of those languages were used as well. But uh, whether or not Jesus ever spoke with supernatural power in another language, the Bible does not say. And that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. Hope you've learned something. You can always download this podcast to listen later online, offline or share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to favorite and subscribe to our channels 
so that you can always be notified whenever we post a new podcast. If you'd like to know more about our ministry or uh, support our ministry, please, you can check out our website, kathmuoki.com. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next one.